Phones are packed with different chips that communicate via radio waves. They talk to GPS satellites in space, cell transmitters on towers and buildings, and regular Wi-Fi too. If you've got a phone, you're already being constantly tracked by your telco provider and the likes of Google too as you move around. That's important because Australia's COVID trace app won't do that. It relies only on the low power, short range Bluetooth system, constantly sending and receiving signals from one phone to another. Now that's significant because unlike cell networks, Bluetooth doesn't generally map the location of your phone. So here's how it works. In mid-April, say four people, Sue, Max, Jane and Jim, install the app. All go about their business like exercise and shopping for essentials. They don't know each other, but as they move around in the community, their app is signalling to and receiving data from one another. Now the next week, Jane develops a cough and tests positive to COVID-19. Her local health department's trace detectives get straight onto Jane for an interview. But instead of asking the usual question, where have you gone during the last fortnight, they first get access to the trove of very precise data her phone's been silently scooping up for the last 21 days. It shows Jane and Sue had stood in a line at what turns out to be a supermarket for 20 minutes one day. Jane and Max had sat next to each other in what they discovered was a doctor's waiting room for half an hour and Jim happens to be her neighbour in Bluetooth range via shared balconies at Jane's apartment block. The investigators will make calls to all three of them. They're useful leads for the trace detectives, but what the app doesn't tell them is anything about the dozens of people Jane had been near who did not have the app installed or perhaps weren't carrying a phone at all. That's why the government's urging as many people as possible to embrace the system. Of course, there are privacy concerns about cyber hacking of health departments and the sharing of phone details with government agencies not dealing directly with the virus. Although the ABC can't vouch for anything that might be embedded behind the system, here's what the government says won't happen. There'll be no live tracking of a phone owner's movements or location. If you do get the virus, the system won't capture the contact details of anyone who spent less than 15 minutes near you, nor anyone who was more than one and a half metres away from you. Police won't get the data, nor will any agency not dealing directly with the spread of the virus. Once state and territory health departments get hold of information, we're told it'll be stored securely and encrypted. Then when all this is over, the entire system and its data store will be deleted.